Look who it is, new guy. Got some coffee here. Yeah, there you go. Give that to Ryan. Hand it to him. Not for you. This is gonna be a long day. Hey, new guy, why don't you head up to the truck and uh, grab the board stretcher for me? Just head up there. You'll know when you see it. This is just too easy. Hey, new guy, since it's your first day, I thought I'd get you a present. Your first ever drill. <laughs> hey, don't break it. <laughs> Tradition around here. Boss buys a new guy lunch on his first day. Actually, he's probably going to want your order, so go tell him what you want. Yeah, go. He's right over there. He's actually going to do it. He's telling him. Oh, he's yelling at him. See a new guy started? Yeah, we should just make up a nickname for him. Oh, oh, hey. Let's call him Tackle Box. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Let's do it. God, I hope he quits today. Hey, uh, Tackle Box, come over here. Yeah, you, come on. Yeah, so all kidding aside, this is the crew. We got uh, Boomer over here. Then we got Sticks, obvious, very skinny. Then we also have Diesel, obvious, big boy. That guy? His name's Tim. His real name's Tom, but we had two Toms. You can't have two Toms on job site, so he's Tim. And then the other Tom is Ted. We got Tim and Ted, both named Tom. We got Trevor. Girl name's Tyler. No idea why we call him Trevor. Hey, Tackle Box, you seen the Johnson sisters yet? What do you mean? They're brothers. That's why we call them that. What kind of stupid question is that? They're brothers, so they're sisters. And then obviously the boss man. He doesn't really have a nickname when he's around. <laughs> hey, you head to the gas station? Give me a monster. Ooh, and a roll. Give me a roll and a monster. All right, we heading out. I'm gonna stop at the gas station and then I'll meet you at the site. Yep. Lunchtime. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the gas station holiday right there. Get myself one of those little pizzas. I oh, ain't a monster, of course. Yep, back again for lunch. All right, I'm headed to the gas station. Anyone need anything? I'm going to the holiday. Monster, three monsters. All right, I'll be back. Don't worry, we got it. Must be nice to be able to get a couple extra hours. You look pretty rested. Uh, good guy. You look tired, man. You go drinking last night? Oh, she kicked you out of the house. You stayed at your buddies again? I'm sorry, man. Bet you guys cuddled though, didn't ya? <laughs> what am I doing standing around? I might be standing around, but I still done more work than you today. Hey, pretty hard to swing a hammer with your hands in your pockets. Hey, where'd you say Ted was gonna be today? Funeral. Easy day for Ted. Gets to be inside, AC, hang out with his family, eat those little sandwiches, probably some hot dish. Boomer, you got some new boots. Jeez, what's going on? Cindy not making you pay child support anymore? <laughs> what? Hey, you still dating that girl? Really? Well, when she comes to her senses, send her my way. What? <laughs> Oh, really? You're gonna do this right now. It's not what your mom said last night. We're doing this? Tackle box, look away. This is gonna get ugly. Come here. Are you serious? Go. Oh, he's been on one lately. What's his deal? Oh, he's not my mother. He's constantly just barking. Hey, boss. Hey, yeah. Oh, you need us to work late tonight. No problem. Yeah, we're just leaving in a minute. <laughs> Shut up. What else was I supposed to say? I don't know where the boss man's at. Probably driving around. That's all he does all day long. A lot of windshield time for that guy. Yeah, I like to see him down the hole. Speak of the devil. Here he comes. Hey, let's get in the hole. Come on. Oh, uh, you want the crew to kind of pick her up this afternoon? Yeah, no problem. I'll let them know you want us to go faster. All right, we'll see you later. We'd be faster if you were helping out. God forbid he gets his hands dirty. I'll be going to his manicure right now. Oh, nothing. Yeah, speed it up, guys. What am I doing? I am reorganizing all of the boards. Boss said, they're on the trailer. How much more organized does he want? And he wanted me to do it. This is a tackle box job. And you know what? He's gonna show up here 4.45, so we can leave early. As soon as his tailgates are on the corner, I'm hopping in my rig, I'm gonna pass him on 25th Street and flick him off. No, I'm doing it this time. I've had it. I'm doing it. Are you serious? Are we doing this? Tackle box, look away. Come here. Hey boss, sorry, I'm a little late. Not really my fault though. Daughter had a nightmare climbing in the bed, kicked me in the old twig and berries, you know. Meat and potatoes, rod and reel, bait and tackle. Yeah, tough. We would have had this done last week if the electricians would have got here on time. How hard is it to just tie some wires together? You know, I'd already be at home right now, sitting in my chair, drinking an ice cold beer. Those plumbers would have showed up on time today. Thanks for showing up late, guys. Oh, I'm moving slow. It's hot out. I'm cooking like a rotisserie chicken out here. How do you expect me to get this done today? And it's not my fault either. I'm working with Tackle Box. He's been here six months. He doesn't even know what a board stretcher is. Tackle Box, you find that board stretcher yet? See, it's not my fault. Yep, once again, pull the fing nail gun out of the truck again. I swear to God, that fing gun, son of a bitch, just wasn't working. Look in there, no nails. So I had to go up to the god hardware store and grab some nails. Those son of a hardware store are sitting on their 
what sorry is paying those guys. And I said you and I walked out of there, but uh, yeah, he's a good, good guy. He says one more word, I am going to just tackle him into the hole. I'm quitting next week. I swear to God, I'm not going to work next week. I'm finally going to quit. It's the last straw. I've had it. All right, well, I got to head out of here. I'll see you next week. You know, if that homeowner shows up again today and tries to tell us what to do, I'm going to tell him right to his face to fuck off. No, I'm gonna. I'm sick of him bossing us around. He doesn't know what he's doing. Hey, Jim, how's it going, man? Yeah, your home's coming along good. Yeah, he is doing that wrong. Hey, you're doing it wrong. I'll take care of that. You know what you're talking about? Homeowner said you're doing that wrong. Oh, you want me just to tell him to fuck off to his face? I'm not doing that. That's the system. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, good morning. Living the dream one nightmare at a time. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If you stand back and squint. Here, let me fix that. That's about as crooked as a question mark. Rick, you move any slower, the vultures are going to get you. Yeah, that's good enough for the girls I date. Ah, that's tighter than a, what is that? Skeeter's butt. That's tighter than a Skeeter's butt. Nah, I can't do this. Guys, a lot of the construction sayings are just not appropriate for the internet. We're trying to write good fellows for the Disney Channel right now. This is tough. You work construction, you know all the sayings that everyone says. Stuff can't be said on the internet like, God, I'm out here just sweating like orange Can't say that on the internet. We'll just bleep that out. Part of working construction. A bunch of old guys working outside, sweating, saying weird stuff all day long. Did you hear it's gonna be negative 15 all day? Yeah, I stopped at your mom's house on the way so I could get my long johns. Really? We just gotta get through today and then we're in the weekend. Gotta stay warm, make it look like we're working, and play for Monday. This won't be that bad. I'll just stay warm. Okay, it's pretty cold out. My butt cheeks are getting chafed from all the shivering that I'm doing. Yeah, I feel you, man. I'm gonna be pissing icicles for a month. I'm so cold, my nipples are like diamond cutters. It's colder than a penguin's pecker out here. I'm so cold, I'm thinking about moving around a little bit and actually working to warm up. It's so cold, the dogs are sticking to the fire hydrants. Seriously, though, it's so cold, I thought I saw a politician with his hands in his own pockets. It is colder than a witch's Tackle box, bring me that left-handed hammer. Oh, look at boss man's in the truck yet again. Must be freaking nice. Yeah, that's real tough. I bet he's sweating his balls off in there. <laughs> if he had any. <laughs> Apparently the only way to get a warm-up break is to be an insufferable asshole. So why aren't you warming up? I'm totally flicking him off in my pocket right now. Me too. Pull my hand down. Can't <laughs> tell. What a dick. Oh, he's looking. Get back to work. Hey, I'll be right back. I gotta go take a leak. It's gonna be a while. Takes a long time to get three inches through six inches of layers. Who threw that? You're f dead. I think on days like today that OSHA might just look the other way on us drinking on the job, don't you think? A little, a little warmth from the inside. Hey, uh... I did bring a little nipper in the car. I got one in my you truck. You got one too? Ah! Oh, ah! God! I can't stop and start very good on the ice. That's this I'm gonna get you. Wait a sec, where's the boss? Is he gone? Yeah, he takes yeah, off every day. Yeah, I don't, let's go warm up. If he's not here, I'm not standing out in the cold. Oh, what? I seem to misplace my tool belt. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and get one. I'll see you guys in a little bit. You're just going to warm up. Huh, hardware stores are heated. Guess I didn't know that. Whoopsies, see you guys later. Oh, no, I can't take it anymore. The shrinkage, it's killing me. You gotta get some more layers on you. We're pretty much wearing the same thing. I'm talking layers insulation i worked hard on this for years well we did it all we had to do was survive today and we did it oh i'm gonna do so much warm stuff tomorrow i'm gonna make a spicy bowl of chili turn on the fireplace kids got me some fuzzy socks for christmas those will be on my feet tomorrow i'm gonna call my grandma just to say hi wife made me get a gym membership has a sauna in there real toasty i'm gonna cook a pizza and i'm not even gonna wait for it to cool down i'm just gonna put it right in my mouth and burn my mouth well i'll see you on monday boss oh you don't need to check our progress to oh yeah we didn't get enough done today so you want us to come back and work tomorrow yeah it sounds good no problem All we gotta do is get to tomorrow. It'll be warm on Sunday. <laughs> if you're working construction this summer, I'm gonna give you four ways to beat your me <coughs> Beat the heat. Number one way to beat the heat in the summer, you can take those sleeves of yours, just throw them away. Now I know what you're thinking, Miles. You have a license to carry these guns. And all I gotta say is, why don't you ask your mom? Just remember, 80 degrees lose the sleeves it kind of rhymes now once we've accomplished getting rid of sleeves the next move get rid of pants you got to show some knee does osha like the outfit i'm wearing right now no but 
They're probably not gonna make it out to the site anyways because they're sitting in their air conditioned office and it's a thousand degrees out. Just enjoy the comfort and showing some knee. Now the second way to stay cool it's gonna take some swallowing of the pride. You're gonna wanna locate the dumbest, newest guy on the job site, AKA tackle box, and you're gonna wanna make an alliance with him. Stick with me, check this out. Hey guys, I think today is finally the day we teach tackle box how to use a saw. I don't want to do it, but I think I should. Remember, it could take a while. He's pretty dumb, so don't worry about us up there. Yeah, hopefully we don't lose a finger, but uh, no guarantees. Come on, tackle box. <sighs> See, Tackle Box, being an idiot ain't so bad. Is this up all the way? Turn it up. Crank it up, Tackle Box. I think they're getting antsy out there. We should probably let them know we're still working. Yeah. Oh, that should hold them off for a while. All right, number three is in the same family as the Tackle Box Alliance. You're gonna wanna be strategic. Only do the jobs that are in the shade. Now this can be difficult because newsflash, the sun moves, so so do you. You gotta be constantly keeping an eye on the old fiery ball in the sky. You want no part of that. The sun is undefeated. Oh, we're getting a cloud. You can maybe venture out a little bit. Cloud going away. Back to shoveling in the shade. Now, potential problem about working in the shade. You move too fast, then you gotta work in the sun. So, you gotta start milking it. You're really gonna wanna take a page out of the old city worker book and just delay, delay, delay. Oh, ah, just, I can't hold on to this board. It's like the, I need a pair of gloves, I think. Maybe there's a pair of gloves over here. Well, no pair of gloves. I guess I just gotta work with what I got. Ah. Son of a buck. You gotta cave this bank in, shovel more, do it. You're gonna do the slippery board technique, do it. If you gotta break your leg, do it. No, like actually, number four is break your leg. Breaking your leg only has upside. Two words, workers, comp. And look at this, you gotta go to the hospital. I'm pretty sure hospitals have a pretty solid HVAC system. You're in the AC. Yeah, I think that'll go if you get enough force on it. You wanna just maybe jump on it? Yeah, make sure it's a clean break though. I don't want anything messy. I still gotta curl this winter. Well, hopefully some of these tips and tricks can really help you beat the meat. Ha, beat the heat this summer. Seriously though, all the construction workers out there, stay hydrated, stay safe. Good luck, break a leg. Uh, <laughs> yeah, break a leg. I need to put a PSA out there. Don't break your leg. <laughs> this is not, do not break your leg. Don't do this either. Don't, it's unplugged right now. The, the saw's unplugged. We had a stunt double do the thing. It's fine. People are gonna be upset about my lack of safety in this video. <laughs> If you're a construction worker and it's lunch hour, that means it's time to go get a gourmet meal at the best restaurant in town, the gas station. So today at Holiday, I'm gonna show you the most classy four course construction meal you've ever seen. It's time to eat lunch. All right, there's many reasons to wanna have lunch at the gas station. Number one, you don't need a reservation. Number two, there's no line. You're in and out lickety split. And number three, the ambiance. You can't beat this atmosphere. Smell of cake donuts when you walk in, hot coffee. What more could you ask for in a restaurant? Every good four course meal starts with an appetizer, something to set up the rest of the courses, something light, something that's not gonna make you too full. So naturally, Course number one, appetizer. Gotta get yourself a bag of chips. Now here's a debate. Are Funyuns chips? Are Funyuns puffs? That's the beauty of a good four course meal. It really makes you think. After you put down a full bag of these, you can't just jump right into the main course. Course number two is a palate cleanser. Now anyone who's anyone in the culinary department knows that the best palate cleanser is the white monster. Get a little sniff, oh. Ooh, my taste buds are locked and loaded for the main course. Without further ado, the main course, Bon Appetit, the most wonderful roller dog. And everyone knows that I like my dogs rolled and my monsters cold. Let's maybe head on down to Frank Town and have ourselves a little wiener. The roller dog is kind of the fajita of the gas station market. You get to put it together yourself, which is fun and interactive. This is the hidden gem of every holiday, the nice cozy bun drawer. Look at those buns. I like to say that you don't choose the bun, the bun chooses you. So I like to maybe pick up a couple, see which one feels Ooh. soft, but also dense. After you got your bun, it's time to select the roller dog. So you're gonna take your tongs, 
They work. I feel like I'm in a 90s movie talking on the phone. Oh, hey, Janice, how are ya? Again, just like the bun, the dog chooses you. You're gonna grab it oh, ever so delicately, place it in the bun. One last thing, the condiments. Enjoy, this is the only way to do it. Dogs rolled and monsters cold, baby. Now it's time for dessert, course number four. And that brings us to the little dessert freezer. Some of you may say, maybe I'll have a cookie for dessert or maybe I'll have some ice cream for dessert. How about both? Two cookies and a scoop of ice cream all in one. Once I pull this out though, it's a ticking time bomb. I gotta finish all three courses before I get to this guy. So I'm probably gonna have to eat it all on the truck. So let's go to the truck, let's eat this lunch, let's get back to work. The last important detail of the construction lunch is to make sure you eat in the parking lot of the gas station. Cause if you go back to the job site, foreman's gonna be telling you to roll down your window, wanting to chit chat, to ruin your whole lunch. And then when you're all done, make sure that you don't throw these in the way in the garbage. Just crumple up all the garbage from the lunch, throw it in the back seat, out of sight, out of mind. Kind of out of sight. If I look forward, I don't see it. But if I do one of those, it's, I mean, it's like a dumpster in here. So that's about it. Just remember, make sure your dogs are rolled and your monsters are cold. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah. Belly cleansed. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.